What do angioplasty, atherectomy, and stent mean? Angioplasty, atherectomy, stent. Weird words, what do they mean? Angioplasty is a small oval balloon. So if you have an artery, okay, and it's narrowed in your legs, sometimes you can go through and with just a small balloon, you can inflate it and open it up. That's angioplasty. They also do that in the heart, okay? So angioplasty is a small balloon that opens up the artery gently from the inside. Let's skip to stent because stent's also done in the heart. Stent is a small, porous, metallic tube-like device, really tiny, tiny, tiny. It's like little metallic Chinese handcuffs. And sometimes you'll do an angioplasty on the vessel and it'll open it up, but then it'll keep closing. It'll keep getting narrow again. In those cases, we have to put in that stent to hold it open. A porous, tiny, metallic tube. That's a stent, they also do that in the heart. Atherectomy is the third tool in our armamentarium. They do not do that in the heart because the arteries are too small. Atherectomy is a small rotating device that sort of chops up the plaque on the inside of the arterial wall, the goop that's there along the inside of the wall and suctions it out, okay? So it's like in your plumbing in your kitchen, if you have mildew and grub on the inside of the pipes, atherectomy cleans that off from the inside of the arteries. Of course, you don't feel any of that. It doesn't hurt, you're sedated, you don't feel anything. But it cleans off that plaque from the inside of the arterial wall and suctions it out. So that's a very powerful tool that we use. So we don't always do all these three, depending on what we see on the procedure, what your expert PAD proceduralist sees. He will do a combination of angioplasty, atherectomy, and or stent. Whatever uh, we need to use to optimize your arterial flow and restore arterial blood flow to your legs is what we will use.